Hey, I'm going to share this new piece with you this evening. It's called The Last Word. It's basically a piece dedicated to anybody who's been through a breakup. You say I had you on pause like I had no cause for my actions. Did you not see my need for emotional distance to eliminate all distractions to see if you were truly the one? Certainly there was a strong attraction, but I didn't want you to fall victim to the numerous pitfalls my past presented and the poisoned spears that my exes had put in them. I guess you win some, you lose some. I would never wish ill will, but to end like this, I just didn't think that was like you. But with a single-minded focus, I guess that's just the way hurt and pride do. I suppose this is the karma your so-called wise counsel once spoke of. I guess in the midst of your frustration with me, this is the new way that you show love. There was once a time when I didn't know love, but I know it didn't feel like this. I wanted to talk it out, but it seemed more comfortable for you for my presence to be dismissed. Was that before or after his kiss? Really, there is no need to answer for the question is strictly rhetorical. I could have seen this coming if I had just listened to the oracle. But no longer will I be so vulnerable. I refuse to allow this process of growth to deplete my self-worth. No longer does it hurt because there are no tears left to release. From this heavy laden heart drowning in anxiety, there is finally peace. But with no ease was this present place of comfort attained. I didn't think becoming enemies or even distant strangers was the only way for us to both remain sane. But like you say, being around me would be unfair to you. And you were finally in a good place. I never realized that there was a span of time when your declarations of I will always love yous could so easily be erased. A bitter aftertaste of our interactions makes me wonder your rapid progression in recovery timeline that manifested after a verbal request for comfort. I suppose I'm only good for listening in when all other avenues don't work? I admit that it's not like you spit in my face, but to ask my advice was just enough of a gesture to open the wound. To avoid my plea for some form of conversation was just plain rude. I guess a part of me just feels kind of used. You can't deny that I was always there when you needed me. Even if the path to your pleasure wasn't easy, if you needed it tomorrow, I would leave early. At your behest, I remained at your ready. But when I ask for support in my endeavors, I suppose that's a burden that's just too heavy. Of my joy, you were given the most. And in one experience, you abused it ever so cunningly, almost to the point where I honestly believe that you maintain a stature of honor and decency. But thankfully, I'm no longer angry. I feel lucky to know the root of your ambition is finally exposed. I only wish that of the leech of your want, I wouldn't have been the host. I know this cuts close. But with these emotions, what else am I supposed to do? When a cordial friendship is all that I asked of you, I guess it's true. Under enough pressure, some become diamonds and others crumble. So with my rant, I attempt to end the pain humble because I refuse to stumble. I know things can change, but I just never expended it in this way. As a man, I accept blame for my mistakes. I only ask that when confronted with your own, that you respectfully do the same.